So how much do we truly know about every nook and corner of planet Earth? In the thousands of years in which humans have flourished, we have always left our mark in some shape or other. Maybe it was a cave painting, or maybe ancient tools used for hunting, or crazier still, abandoned places allegedly used for strange experiments. As outlandish as it may seem, the world is filled with such unexplained areas, which we still don't have real answers to. Join us today on this journey to 12 of the most mysterious places which scientists still can't explain but actually exist. Be sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more amazing content. Number 12. Double Tree Why have one tree when you can have two? This seems to be the case in Casorzo, Italy. A quite unusual botanical discovery exists here where two trees have become one. They're different species as well, with the bottom being a mulberry tree and a cherry tree growing on top. Pretty crazy. This kind of hybrid duplex happens very rarely in nature, but smaller trees do occasionally grow on larger ones. But it's very rare to see two fully grown trees cohabiting and thriving like the one in Casorzo. Usually, one tree will thrive at the expense of the other. Usually, the tree on top suffers. But the beautiful flowers seen on the cherry tree here shows it isn't the case. Due to its unusual yet beautiful quality, the double tree of Casorzo has become a tourist attraction, but it had to be fenced off for its own safety. And no, you can't climb it, it's illegal. Number 11. Hayden Tor. A lot of mystery surrounds the origins of Hayden Tor in Austria. It's believed to be built during the reign of the Roman Emperor Constantius II, who ruled this region between the years of 351 and 361. But this is just the best guess. Ancient Romans built similar structures to commemorate the site of significant military victories. This theory makes sense, since the ancient city of Carnuntum existed here and played host to around 50,000 people surrounded by a walled fortress. The settlement, however, is long gone, but one arch remains. For several centuries, this ruin was misunderstood as the gateway to the old city, but since its origins are not known, plenty of myths and legends have sprung up for hundreds of years. It has become a popular spot for pagans, who refer to it as Heaven's Gate for reasons unknown. Pagans sure know how to pick their spots. If Hayden Tor was a Roman tetrapylon, it would probably have had a statue of an emperor or a god in the middle, but there's no sign of it today, so it's just conjecture as of now. Number 10. Invitanet Island The next one takes us to Africa. There's a clue in the name of Invitanet Island in Kenya, which gives you an idea about how Kenyans feel about this place. The name of the strange-looking island in Lake Turkana translates to No Return. The name fits with the local myths and legends which say that no one will return who enters it, and it seems to be true. In 1935, English explorer Vivian Fuchs decided to test this theory with his colleagues Bill Dyson and Martin on a research mission. When his colleagues failed to return, it only reinforced its infamous legend. Conspiracy theories suggest that there is an alien base filled with extraterrestrials and anyone descending into its center will be immediately abducted. The locals, however, believe that anyone who goes into the enormous crater will be struck by lightning and obliterated. Drones and planes which flew over it have managed to photograph what appears to be the remains of ancient huts in the center of the crater. In recent years, no one has been brave enough to venture and inspect in Vitanet Island, and the mystery continues to linger. Number 9. Abu Ghraib The old city of Abu Ghraib contains a structure which was the Sun Temple thousands of years ago. Dedicated to the god Ra, this temple was built somewhere around 2,400 years ago and had a stepped pyramid of its own. Based on ancient Egyptian historical records, there used to be six sun temples in Abu Ghraib, but unfortunately only two of them remain now. The sun temple, though in ruins now, once housed a colossal stone obelisk which stood within the complex and marked the westernmost point of Abu Ghraib. The site also has massive red granite blocks which puzzled archaeologists for their use of precision engineering with polished surfaces and holes which were so smooth that they must have used some advanced drilling technology. If that wasn't mysterious enough, there were also several square alabaster dishes which contained markings similar to the gears of an engine. Did they have access to advanced tools? There's a lot about ancient Egypt which we still don't know about and how they got to be as advanced as they were. Number 8. Barsa Kelmes Barsa Kelmes used to be an island on the Aral Sea, though not an island anymore since the water levels are lower than before. It has now become a plateau on Kizilorda in Kazakhstan. Like the legend of Invitanet Island in Kenya, this place too is infamous for being a place of no return. Even the name when translated from the original Turkic language means whoever comes here shall not return. Talk about being creepy. 
In 1939, it was declared as a national reserve and was closed off to the public for the remainder of the 20th century. Nobody knows what the Soviets did there, but rumors say that it was used for top-secret research. Even today, electronic devices fail and navigational equipment also stops working as you get close. There have been documented cases of people's skin turning blue who stayed at or were too close to the Bar Sakelmas Plateau. Commonly believed legend about this area talks about a group of nomads that stayed here for what they believed to be a year, only to return to civilization to find that three decades had passed. That's some time dilation level mysterious. Number 7. Hand of Hercules Amidst the ruins of Amman and Jordan, you'll find crumbling remnants of temples and palaces. You'll also see the broken piece of a colossal human hand made of stone. This is the Hand of Hercules. Even in its broken three-fingered state, it's still intimidating and imposing to look at. The hand was part of the Temple of Hercules, which was built in the 2nd century during the Roman occupation of Amman Citadel. For reasons unknown, the temple was never finished. The presence of an elbow made of marble implies that there was once a plan to make a colossal statue of Hercules, and if it were completed, would have been the largest statue in the world at the time. Historically, this area was known for earthquakes, so Romans might have given up on the idea of building anything here after experiencing a few disastrous quakes. The local guides often choke about Hercules' nails and cuticles on the hand being well-trimmed and maintained, and how Hercules enjoys his regular manicures. Number 6. Kyukyulko Pyramid No one has any idea on who built the Pyramid of Kyukyulko in Mexico City. Some evidence says that an enormous volcanic eruption destroyed the civilization which once existed here. But besides that, these ancient inhabitants left very little to remember them by, other than the pyramid. Examining the land around the complex, archaeologists found that it was farmed for a period which started 3,200 years ago and ended in the 1st century when the Zytel volcano erupted. The tragic irony was that these Mesoamericans were thought to have worshipped a god of fire and their end was also by fire. While some historians believe that the entire population perished in the disaster, there are some who believe that a few had survived and fled to other parts of Mexico and took elements of their culture with them. This eventually played a big role in the rise of the ancient city of Teotihuacan. Number 5. Lost City of the Kalahari There is often skepticism and controversy for anything which starts with the lost city of X, Y, and Z, and the lost city of Kalahari is no exception. Our story begins in 1885 when Canadian magician and explorer William Leonard Hunt, also known as the Great Farini, claimed to have found the ruins of an ancient city while crossing the Kalahari Desert on foot. His report to the Royal Geographic Society spoke about seeing half-buried ruins, shattered temples, burial grounds, and semi-collapsed walls. This prompted 25 expeditions in the decades that followed Farini's claims, but unfortunately, none of them found anything which the explorer claimed to have seen. By 1964, A.J. Clement theorized that Farini must have been mistaken about the route he took, and advised a new route that Farini might have taken by accident. By following this new route, Clement discovered a series of colossal stone monoliths made of dolerite, material which once erodes can resemble straight blocks that resemble walls. He concluded that what the explorer saw was nothing more than natural formations dating back to 180 million years. His explanation did not satisfy everyone, and there are people even today who are looking for the lost city of the Kalahari. Number 4. Nazi Concrete Rings the Nazis are infamous for a lot of things, and among them are the various experiments that they had conducted. Not much is known of these giant concrete rings built by the Nazis in the Barents Sea. The fact that the Soviets took ownership of this place after World War II and didn't let anyone near it for decades only added fuel to the mystery and its prevailing theories. Some theories suggest that this place was where the Germans conducted experiments on anti-gravity devices and weapons of mass destruction. Diabolical. Some speculation points towards the fact that this was the place where Nazis worked on a top-secret project called the Glocke, or the Bell. Aside from the shape, which was known to be a bell, nobody knew what it did, besides the fact that it was supposedly a fearsomely powerful weapon. It's most likely that these were concrete bases upon which rotating artillery was mounted. Number 3. The Druid's Temple The people in Swinton in North Yorkshire believe that their town has an ancient temple. But looking at the Swinton's Druid's Temple, it's not hard to see why. Unfortunately, it's not really a Druid's Temple, and was built a mere two centuries ago by an extremely eccentric and wealthy landowner, William Danby, who lived in Swinton in the 1820s. He was known to be a generous man, and was concerned about the rising unemployment in his hometown. To help solve this problem, he commissioned dozens of people to build this temple as an effigy to Stonehenge. 
After it was built, he offered a huge financial reward to anyone who's willing to stay there as a hermit for seven years. Someone did manage four years, but no one lived there for the entire seven. William's reward was never claimed as a result. Even though it's not a real Druid's temple, it is still visited by many New Age pagans and Druids for every summer solstice. Looks like another place in the pagan itinerary after Heidentor in Austria. Number 2. Gungiwamp Gungiwamp in Groton, Connecticut, USA is the type of place which gives archaeologists and historians a headache and a mouthful to say. This place was used and reused by a variety of settlers for 1400 years, all of whom left their own mark on the landscape. There are stone chambers, stone rings, etchings on the walls that don't correspond to any known language, and also Native American artifacts. There are so many traces of human settlement that it's hard to determine when one settlement ended and when one began. One popular theory is that it was built by Celtic Christian monks in the 6th century who escaped Ireland to get away from the Viking raids. But this theory would rewrite the accepted history of pre-Columbian America and also disregard several pieces of evidence that suggest the site is far older. The occasional spikes of electromagnetic activity being detected by scientists at Gungiwamp, which they attribute to the composite of magnetite, granite, and quartz rocks in the area. But conspiracy theorists believe that it's either an alien base or an energy vortex. One lithic stone tool which was found buried here is at least 3,500 years old, which blows a serious hole in the Celtic monk theory. We still don't know if it was built in stages or all at once, and we probably never will. Number 1. Ayin Dara Syria is filled with many ancient and mysterious temples, but Ayin Dara is probably the most mysterious of them all. What makes it so are the giant footprints at the entrance of the temple. Experts say that they've been there for as long as the temple, which is at least 3,300 years old. Scientists and archaeologists say they were carved in by the people who made the temple and are supposed to mark the procession of the gods into the temple's inner chambers, but locals, however, believe that a great god with clawed feet left the imprint himself. Another prevailing theory is that the people who built it were giants, and they left the prince behind. There are many stories of why people gravitate toward the theory of giants building the temple. Sadly, the temple is badly damaged after being hit by a Turkish air raid in 2018, but the footprints survived. Well, there you have it, 12 of the most mysterious places which scientists can't explain. It's still surprising that we're no closer to explaining these sites than we were maybe a few decades ago. All we can do right now is speculate with the minimal evidence that we have. Which mysterious place took you by surprise and what do you think went on there? Let us know in the comments, and before you go be sure to smash the like button, share and subscribe for more amazing content. See ya!